and the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Your discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. So what were you guys arguing over, huh? It caused you to kill him. <laughs> Alright, you can keep quiet then. You're gonna have to start walking faster, alright? Right now, start moving. Jeez. <sighs> you see that place right in front of us? That's where you're gonna rot. That's where you're gonna call it home. Beautiful place, huh? Alright, step up. Take a seat. Keep him cuffed to the bench. I'll go find the ward. We've got a new right. intake. Now, uh, look in the eye. Let, let me make this clear. You will listen to me, okay? You're going to do as I tell you, and if you I any way anger me, you're going to regret it. <coughs> Fucking asshole. Fuck you! Jesus Christ! Yeah, uh, you do that again, one more time. And I swear to God. <sighs> what seems to be the problem here, recruit? Or did, uh, nothing. Who the uh, fuck are you? Him. Who the fuck am I? Yeah. The man who can make your stay here on a cell is very pleasant or very miserable. So I would very much advise you to keep your tongue in check from now on. Do you understand? Whatever. I'm gonna ask you some questions and you're gonna answer them truthfully. No bullshit. I don't have time for bullshit. Am I understood? <laughs> What's your name? Your full name? Tony. Tony Moretti. How old are you, Mr. Moretti? Is that even important? Recruit! Your services are needed once more. Alright, Jesus Christ, I'm 42! I'm 42! Never mind. Stand guard. Just took a little... Persuading was all. Now, was that so hard? <sighs> Where are you from, Mr. Moretti? From Brooklyn. New York. And, uh, what brings you to a cell with this fine evening? According to you fucking men out there, it's a crime now to kill people. I thought we were living a free world now with all this shit going on. Well, evidently you were mistaken. It's my own fucking business. Go ahead and get the Polaroid camera from the medical bay. He's about due for a mug shot. Allow me to be one of the first people, if not the first man, to welcome you to this wonderful island of Estella. Controlled and operated solely by the regulators. I am Warden Tate Hollow, the lovely leader of this nice organization. Welcome to our home. There'll be times when you'll break a rule and you'll think it'd be minor, but to be beaten. You see, we don't play games. We believe in second chances. You have to prove to us you're worthy of going back out there. Any guardsman in uniform will be addressed as sir or ma'am. If we raid your cell and find that you have a shank that you'll be beaten for attempting to escape or a conspiracy to overthrow. That's gonna land you in some pretty hot fucking water. The right to talk, to read, and to eat. They're all privileges. Now if you're a respectful man who is truly bent on rehabilitation, you'll be treated like a human. It is what you make it. It's prison. Welcome to the hard life. And uh, one more thing Mr. Moretti. Nobody leaves this prison without my say so. And I mean nobody. Lock him up, boy. He's gonna be here for a while. Nobody fucks with me. And that's why I'm in here. Name's Tony Moretti, and this is my story. I've been in here for a long time. I guess that's because I can't stay out of trouble. But recently, I've been a good boy. So they decided to give me a new cellmate, Alfie Aldrich. I know, I know. Yeah, you can call me Alfie. Yeah, 
call me Alfie. <laughs> Alfie. <laughs> I like that name. Looks like we're gonna be some new pals. Uh, this is my side. That can be yours. He was a good kid. Right from the start, I liked Eh, I guess this looks good. It'll have to do. I don't know why, he was fucking weird, but I really liked him. If you ever need, uh, you ever need uh, something to uh, deal with an issue, uh, be my guest to take one. Sounds good. But, um, we don't like it too obvious, uh, but let's keep that between you and me if we can. Yeah. I took the smallest one. I try to conceal it. That should be good. You know, it's not the weapon that does the job, it's the man. Mr. Tony, yeah. I hope we uh, can have a mutual agreement that we um, hope we don't have any issues in here. I know we are going to be staying together and uh, we're going to be spending a lot of time together, so uh, <laughs> we can. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. Not the first time I'm in a place like this. <laughs> it's best to make friends. I feel like sleeping with my two eyes closed, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Later that day we had work detail, and I of course with Alfie was on that staff list. To survive we still gotta make some food, so we did just that. Now here's how it's gonna work out, while those gentlemen in the floor under you are getting rec time, you guys be working. However, you'll be getting a shower after this and you'll be giving fresh scrub. Fuck this yeah! Is the gardening area, boys. Alright. Let's get to work. I didn't come here on my own. I came with my brother Bobby. We had a deal with the Trenton Russian Mafia for a few crates of AKs. Fucking deal went sour. Those chooches started shooting at us. All this while the outbreak was starting. I got separated from my brother Bobby. I never saw him since. I ended up bumping into one of those fucking Trenton Russian Mafia pricks. Fortunately for him, he's now sleeping with the fishes. But that landed me right in here. Now I'm fucking gardening some food for these crazy fucking regulators. Keeping us in here. Who the fuck do they think they are? Getting sick of this shit, and I'm planning to get out soon. It was a long damn day, but we got to have a nice shower and some new clothes. Since the warden was in charge of this today, I was a little worried about the knife I had on me. Oh, I feel fresh. Hey, yeah. I don't know, we should let people know that we're done. Eh, it's a good idea. As it turns out, the chooch never searched me. <laughs> so hungry now. You got, a, you got a brother? Yeah, me and him. We came here together. Ah, oh, wow. Maybe he's looking for you, and uh, yeah. he knows you're here. Maybe. I don't know. I hope he's okay. Me and him, we're tight. Super fucking tight. Maybe if we can get our hands on a radio. Turn to rush, motherfucking mafia, motherfuckers. Swear to God, if it wasn't for them, everything would have been okay. I'd still be back there in Brooklyn eating some fucking cannolis. Oh, fuck. Yeah, well, uh, they don't have cannolis here. What the uh, fuck's up with that? Seriously. Cannolis? Uh, never, never heard of that before. What is it? It's a wonderful piece of pastry, I swear to fucking god, it's fucking delightful. Maybe I'll get to try one one day. Find a baker somewhere in this uh, godforsaken land. Too bad we can't grow some fucking cannolis, though. Evening, command. Sir, we have a man in death row. He uh, chose firing squad first, lethal injection second. He wants to do an appeal. Uh, we'll do the appeal later. You know where he's at. He's in death row, cell number 30. You hear that? Death row. Jeez, children, to watch. Three adults, nice. and one doctor's <laughs> I'd like to get to know all the names tomorrow. Hopefully I can memorize everybody. Put a face to a name. That's a good idea. Because, uh, then I know who's messing with me and, uh, you if we, we got people. We got problems. I'm sure there'll be people who uh, try and take uh, take the throne. 
Remember that guy that I spit in his face? His name is Michael Dowie. We just call him Mike. Over time, Alfie and I were able to persuade him to do us some favors. Heck, you could even call us friends now, which was perfect for the plan I had in mind. Tony. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you check yeah. in the depth yeah. room in the I dipped into my secret stash. Uh, alright, alright, keep it down, keep ah, it down. I appreciate that. Good old Mike brought us a beer from his stash. Right. Yeah, I'll pass it through. Alright, back up, back up, back up. Alright, there you go. Shit. When you're done with it, hand it over so I can throw it out. A couple days later, we were introduced to this rehabilitation program. It was led by Breville Randon. I will be a person. Inmates, yes, yeah, from one of the towers. What it is we want to see from you is your physical prowess. You see, if you are released from this uh, facility, there is a good chance that uh, if you are not physically fit, you will die. Therefore, it is our duty to keep you alive, healthy, and well, and potentially rehabilitate you for re-entry into the real world. <laughs> so, our little game after I explain it to you will uh, result in the winner getting some extra food, and the loser cleaning the entire uh, jail facility with a toothbrush, yes? This officer Breville used to be a prisoner too. He was himself rehabilitated. It looked like he had all too much fun doing this to us. Running from the wall, to the tree, back to the wall, back to the tree. It was fucking killing us. Fuck. Why the fuck is he laughing? Fuck. The guy in the red cap is Harold Smith. He's like the oldest guy here. He's like in his 60s. And he fucking outruns everybody. Oh, doing alright, Tony. I'm doing okay. Don't, don't worry about me. <coughs> Nonetheless, he was well respected. A good fella. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking. This shit went on for another 10 minutes. Water. I got some right here. <sighs> Man, I should have really quit smoking a long time ago. I had it. No, I got first. Harold's the winner. He is. Who's the loser? Son of a bitch. Me. Why did you lose 12? Please inform everyone. I, uh, oh jeez. I guess I would. I don't know. Fuck. I, I smoke too many cigarettes. I. I'm a fucking loser. There you go. You happy? Fuck. Say what you want to eat. Mister Twelve here, telling me has just revealed to you that he is weak <laughs> and that he is smoking too many cigarettes. How does this make you feel? Makes me think he's a weak little bitch. Fuck. <laughs> That chooch is Hunter Williams, Good. and he just How fucked up. For twelve, truthfully, make you feel. I don't care very much. I spent my entire retirement keeping in shape. Can't say that thing for everybody. Just by the look on his smug face, he knew we yeah. fucked up. Here's Harold feels self fulfillment because he is retired and he he won. How about you? How do you feel about his admitting weakness? I want you to all understand that this is a safe place for everyone else. Admitting weakness is a form of openness and acceptance. While you may think he is a bitch, and you are totally right in thinking so, I think it is good to get your feelings out there so everyone knows where you're at. Yes, and that's the first start of becoming a caring family unit. <laughs> Just like you will experience once you are again out there. God forbid. <laughs> Now, 12, step forward. As the proverbial loser of this race, the 
on it was laid out to you that you would be cleaning the barracks with a toothbrush. Mm. But you now have to select your partner. What? <laughs> it's gonna be easy. Yo, Mr. Hunter. Uh, all right. Great. Looks like I got some alone time with this Mr. Hunter, and sooner than I thought. Swear to God, I was in here yesterday. This place is grimy as shit. Well, start cleaning. Fucking crap. This is a shitty job. Yeah, I agree. 1337 Hunter report. Shout to the wall. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Start singing a song. Better do it. Um. What? If I'm gonna be listening to you gentlemen scrub with toothbrushes, I want a beach, goddammit. You need me, call. It's fucking grimy yes, all sir. over this thing. Sir, I'm not going to sing a song. I don't require you to go Who are you calling the weak bitch? Hey. Fuck you! Hey, piece of shit! Yeah, fuck you! Like I said, I just can't stay out of trouble. Yeah.